What happened? Otis Reputus Game. Music and audio by Mr. Pep. Warning, this game contains harsh flashing lights, loud noises, dark themes, and lots of jump scares. You've been warned. Hello, buddy bats. I am here with Bondi's Barnyard, and I'm excited to play this game because I was under the impression this was supposed to come out next year, and I reacted to the fan game direct, and I put together a tier list of games I wanted to play, and they would put an order of priority. So the fact that this is the first available one that I know of, and I can actually play it, is really exciting. So let's get straight into it. The employment of a security guard is really an arbitrary decision to fulfill a legal requirement. Bondi. Rise 40. They're all equipped with a security system capable of tracking down any intruder. They can even hear a person breathing within a 50 meter radius. That's oh, kind of creepy. Cool, the cow is different in that she's designed to care for a child who has lost their parents. Oh. Uh, she will keep them closer until the parents return. That's very sweet. Excuse me, but this all seems a bit excessive for children's establishment. Well, even though the animatronic security system is very hands-on, they wouldn't be able to kill an adult. What about a <laughs> child? The fact that we're having this discussion. Oh, she didn't like that. She's like, what? We ain't gonna let any children die today. Okay, I like this kind of spin. So she's an animatronic that's a caretaker of sorts. Child missing. A child's gone missing at Bondi's Barnyard on their own birthday. The child's mother filed a missing person report to local authorities. The restaurant claims no wrongdoing, but have doubled their safety precautions and employed a full-time security guard. I thought I had to read this fast because it was going to disappear. Because for Five Nights at Freddy's 1, you don't have a chance to read. Wow. Bondi's Barnyard safety violation. 1 a.m. Fresh meat. That's hilarious. This is gonna be insane. So, are we? We're fighting off against other animatronics that are trying to harm children, or, or the security guard. Let's click here to close the door. Oh. Who was rhyming like that? Okay, I gotta get used to this. I'm pretty sure I'll fail. I I missed that little note about the camera. This is really interesting. I like this perspective. Okay, so... Is that my power already? How the hell did I start at 50%? Did I waste it that quick? I was not even paying attention. Ah! Oh, it's so cute. It, it, it does a little moo. <laughs> You know, I said when I reacted to this, um, the game's trailer, that it gives me a very Adult Swim kind of vibe. Like, something you would watch on late night TV that's so unique and odd. Even Nickelodeon, maybe. Like, this is hilarious to me. I love it. I love the style, the color scheme of the game. Okay, so far I don't see anything. We're not doing so good as far as power. Very bad at power management, though. So. Make sure I have my volume up. Yep. I like I heard a footstep. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hold down left click to open Koo's mouth and get breathing room. Oh, that's what they meant. She's hiding inside the animatronic! Oh my god! I think I kind of understand now. That's really cool. It's almost like a Five Nights at Freddy's security breach kind of vibe. We're protecting a child inside the animatronic suit. So that wasn't power management. That was the girl's oxygen level. So what is happening? You have employees that are conspiring to murder a child? Or... They're afraid the other animatronics will. That is so cool. I love this. Okay. So far... First night's okay. Alright. It's 1.25 a.m. I'm hearing activity around the background. 
Okay, we're doing okay. As long as I could keep it like 70-80%, I'm A-alright. You know, I'm A-okay. Bro, it's so exciting to me to see that this is available right now. Yay, we're at 100%. We put the nice in ice cream. <laughs> Mama Cow will, prote will protect you. Yeah. I like how she's the protector. You know, it, it, go it fits in with the maternal instinct. So, you know. So far, so good. As long as we can keep everyone happy, we're going to do fine tonight. I wish I could read what that says in the background. Cow the cow is the only animatronic allowed inside of the ice cream bar. If anything else tries to enter, close the doors. Ah. Okay. Does that mean he left? Try to get her some more. Hope you're gonna get oxygen here. So far, we're dealing with a pig tonight. This is like a really cool ice cream bar. Makes me think of Chick fil A. Um, in the mall, my local mall, there used to be a little ice cream bar where they would have like a Sunday little Sunday bar. You could serve yourself. I doubt that's even a thing anymore. That's the funny thing about Chick-fil-A. For some reason, they moved it all around the mall. I think it changed locations like two or three times. <laughs> okay, somebody has to be here. Gotta remain vigilant. These nights aren't to be messed with. Time goes by pretty slow. It's about to be 2 a.m., Betty Bats. Oh, we only survived for an hour. Okay. This is so cute. <laughs> She's happy. She's like, I protected her. Happy birthday, my child. For your gift, I'll let you go to Mommy's barnyard. <laughs> this is hilarious. I love the old school style, yes. Hey, you look sharp as a sausage. I'm building a house. What material should I use for it? If there's a wolf, you should be using brick. Bricks, of course. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you don't want any wolves. Do we have a wolf in this game? Count sheep. Oh, I see. It's interesting. So we break it down by each hour. So it's not nights, it's an hour. That makes a lot of sense. Interesting spin. I love the creativity behind this game, the little jingles that go with each hour. What a nice way to be told the instructions of the night instead of the, you know, the typical voicemail or active call. Like, that's so nice. I like that. Definitely very unique. It, it stands on its own. Very cute style. I like it. Man, and I'm just so impressed. Everything looks amazing. Hey. I can expect two animatronics tonight? Or just an entirely different animatronic? Wonder what happens at the end. Just gonna stay on top of the oxygen levels. Okay. Alright, now I recognize what sound they make when they leave the door. Okay. Heard some shuffling. Oh, ooh, now they're getting fast. As long as I can keep it above 70%, be A-OK. Okay. okay. Let's 
keep it above 75. I wonder what kind of death animation they have. It would be so cool if I could get this in one go without dying, but I'm not sure what to expect for the rest of the, the night. It's definitely going to be difficult. Okay. I'm remaining vigilant. We can do this, Betty Bets. Oop, I saw them. I saw them. Oh. Hey, does that somehow decrease oxygen faster because of the doors being closed? Okay. Let's work on getting that oxygen up. We have to make sure that the child is able to return back to her parents. Okay. What happened? Game over. If you touch anything while the camera's looking at Cow, the guard will shock you. Play dead. Ah, I made the mistake of clicking. I understand. I understand now. My bad. <laughs> that is so cool. It's because I missed the instruction um, pop up at the beginning. All right, I got this, buddy. That's. Alright, I'll be sure not to make that mistake again. I don't know how long the camera will stay looking at me, but that's going to be a challenge because we have to pretend we're, you know, static for the night guard not to shock us. And we also have to survive long enough that the animatronics don't get inside the room, man. Alright, I don't need any more oxygen. Just getting in the habit of doing that. Nothing gets past Mama Cow. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. I wonder if the camera would activate on the same time it did on my previous attempt. Or it would just be random. Get the to 100%. We are happy and A-OK. -okay. The ambience in this game is pretty cool too. I really am enjoying this game so far. I wonder if keeping the mouth open for long periods of time attracts the animatronics. Okay. Wow. I gotta pay attention because soon enough this camera will activate. Okay. Oh wow, I like that. That makes a lot of sense. Come on, I'm dead. You know, I'm not, uh... Animatronic that's alive or anything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if I could just keep it above 70%. Alright. I love the addition of seeing ourselves on the screen while the camera's up. I think that was really cool. So, like, is there an exception to being watching the camera? Can I move, you know? Or I'm not supposed to move and, you know, I'm not supposed to touch anything either. Okay, got the sheep. All right. Let's get up the oxygen levels at least to 80%. Okay. So far, it was just the sheep. Now the pig. Hey, let's get the oxygen up. It's gonna be really cool if this game has a custom night or 
you know, custom challenges where it's much more difficult, I would love to attempt them. I think it's so fun. I'm just like expecting the camera to go off at any moment and it's gonna freak me out. <gasps> what is that? Oh wow, it's like foxy. I did not expect that. That was interesting. It didn't say anything about that. That was a surprise. I'm not alive or anything. I'm totally still. Oh. Get out of here. Alright. I'm nearing the end of the night, buddy bats. My oxygen levels are good. You know? I don't gotta worry. But I personally like to stay on top of it. Just in case, because you never know. It's just good to be prepared. Little by little, I get more oxygen in segments after I check the doors. Yep, I'm at 100%. Okay. All right, we did it! We survived another hour, buddy bets, and I only died once. Hey there! Ooh. Would you want to be my little shepherd for today? <laughs> Could you count all of these sheep? How many sheep are there? <laughs> That's right! There's one sheep! Thank you so, so much! Have a continued happy birthday! <laughs> Meet and greet. Are we gonna see- do we have like a human animatronic character? Are we gonna see him? Is he the farmer? light ah i see so he we have to keep him away with the light okay so i don't have to close the, well i'm gonna close the door anyway i don't know what he does but you know maybe i messed up <gasps> whoa okay some fear the sun when all they get is burned. Scare him off with the light. I just panicked. I'll be sure not to make that mistake again. Or at least I'll try my best. Because <laughs> my, you know, my first instinct is to close these doors. I wonder how much more active the camera will be tonight. On this hour. I have to make sure to keep the light on him. It makes sense why he looks the way he does. Because he kind of looks like he has burns. <laughs> OMG. Alright, that was the sheep. The added challenge of... Oh, I thought I saw the camera rising, bro. I don't know. My eyes are seeing things. Alright. Let me get some... Alright, you best go back. Alright, at least he kind of has an audio cue. So, there's that. I get to 200%? Yes, I can. Alright, we got the sheep. Alright. Oh, we gotta defend against this little... You have to leave, okay? You're not allowed in the ice cream bar. Really interesting why the other ones are so interested in attacking. I think that's so cute, really. We get attacked by this little thing, like, what is the- Oh god. Oh, we need oxygen. Yeah. We're in trouble now. I need at least 50%. 
Alright, I'm trying. Oh. God, I thought I messed up. Okay. Alright. Doing okay so far. For real, I find this so funny. <gasps> oh, I wasn't paying attention which direction. If you leave the door open, things will get in. Why does this little chick attack us? Weren't we the ones carrying it and being all happy? <gasps> oh, shit! Oh my god, I thought I messed up. Which way? Right side again? Oh, crap. Yeah. As long as I have the strat of making sure I breathe. Okay. Now that I'm prepared... Don't move. Oh god. This is what I was afraid of, that the camera would go up. Okay. I was kind of worried that animatronic was at the doorway. Okay, I'm at least a 75. That's pretty good. Get up to 80, please. That's what I always worry about, that, you know, the camera would go up right when an animatronic chooses to be. Ooh, you have to go away, demon. Oh shit, I almost messed up there. I almost messed up there, thinking that thing was coming from the left side. Okay. I like how much more intense this game is. A move. Yeah, I honestly... I don't know if moving gets you in trouble, but I'm just not gonna take the chance. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing a-okay. Hopefully I could finally get past this night. Alright, almost. Go away, demon. Be gone. Oh, oh my god. I panicked. I don't know why I did. I don't know why I panicked. I mean, I have plenty of time to react, you know? I just kind of like froze. Not a good sign. Not a good thing. I don't want to freeze. I need to take action. Alright. As long as I can regain my oxygen, even with the door closed, that's a good strat. Just trying to maintain a healthy oxygen level. Keep the girl. I'm assuming it's a girl. Alright, I'm going to leave that closed. I'm not moving. I'm, s I'm very worried about the oxygen levels, though. At least it isn't 20% because that would have been bad. Can I get up to 50? Come on. We're at moderate levels of oxygen. Alright. We need to breathe. We just need to breathe. Okay. Hey, we made it, bad bets. Yes! <laughs> Took me three tries, but I did it. Why does the little chick attack us? I mean, look at us being all happy holding it. <laughs> Welcome to Bondi's Barnyard! I got something here just for you. So this is Bondi, right? Blow out whenever you're ready! Oh. I figured that was gonna happen. Oh, that's why he's he has a fear of light. Oh my gosh. Hallway creep. Okay, so they're showing all three of them now. They're going to be much more aggressive, I guess. What's the chick's beef with us, though? You know what I mean? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, same as usual. They're just going to be a lot more faster and aggressive, so... 
I need to be prepared. That's why staying on top of my oxygen is a must. Yeah, I just don't want to be caught with low levels of oxygen. Especially when we're in a situation where we have two doors closed. The camera is also going to be interesting to see when it decides to go active. And if it's all luck based, you know, it could screw me over totally if I have animatronics at the door. Alright. Okay, it's coming from the right side. We've learned all the necessary skills we need to survive. I need oxygen. Hey, go away, demon. Okay. Need to regain my oxygen to at least 85%. Okay. Don't move. Come on. Alright. Let me breathe. Alright. We did pretty good. I really love the challenge of this game. It reminds me of, you know, how much I loved playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2. You know, you have all these different things that you need to worry about. Test of skill. I love it. Very original. <gasps> no! Bro, I almost messed up there. I almost messed up there. Okay. Keeping my oxygen. Okay, coming from the left side. Okay. Make sure I breathe. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, good thing I caught that one. I need to raise my oxygen. I get to 75. I make it up to 80%. Alright. Doing okay. Alright. Doing good so far. Good thing he has an audio cue. Alright, that little chick is coming. I think it's the cutest thing ever. It's little running footstep sounds like it's hilarious. Just seeing that little thing run at you down the hall. It's not even threatening. It's just kind of funny and cute, but <laughs> it's deadly. You can't not underestimate it based on appearance, which I like. Don't move. Please don't let there be an animatronic here. Okay, good thing there was nobody hanging around the right side. I was worried about that. Let's make sure we breathe. Okay, make sure I breathe. Alright, doing good so far. Almost done with the night, buddy bats. We're almost there to 5 a.m. Baby, hey, gone, demon. Look like a raisin. Alright. Good thing we're at 100%. Alright. Almost there. 15 minutes, you know? Okay. Saw the sheep. Let me make sure I breathe. Alright. Okay, good thing I caught that on time. I was kind of worried that maybe I wouldn't. Don't move. I'm just a static animatronic. Okay. Nine minutes left, buddy bats. Oh, I accidentally closed the wrong door. Why did that go off? Did I accidentally hit one of the plushies? I don't know. My oxygen levels are good, so... 
I don't really need to fret because I have five minutes left. All right, make sure I breathe anyway. Go away, demon. Hey, okay. oh god. Oh! Damn, I was so close and the camera got me. Oh, bro, right when I got cocky and it was like, everything is great. It would have been a perfect night, man. It would have been a perfect night. If it wasn't for that little mistake. That was hilarious. The freaking camera got me there. Okay. Pay attention because this camera's gonna go up. Okay. Don't move. You better be the last... This better be the last time the camera goes up. I am freaking lucky. Alright, I gotta pay attention because this thing has the potential to go up anyway. Alright. Three more minutes. I'm gonna stay vigilant. I don't care. That's the last three minutes. Okay. Okay, finally! <laughs> Only took two tries. Got it. Hello, I'm Ku the Cow, and, um, is something wrong? Um, I'm confused. Isn't Cow, like, female? Don't worry. Um, whatever it is, I'll protect you. I promise. Oh. What happened to this kid, man? Oh. Final hour. Ooh. Is there anything different? Hmm. That's it? Didn't 100% understand that. But I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure this child is safe and is returned back to their parents. Nothing gets past Cal. Alright. Gonna be on top of things. This camera, I, I, I'm betting, is gonna be freaking sporadic throughout the night. It's just gonna be up and all, up. All right, I'm sure I'm not distracted here. All right. Go away, you dimmy. All right, we're back at 100%. Feels lovely. We're all smiles. We're happy. Don't move. Damn it, somebody better not be here. Crap. All right. Make sure we're still breathing. Okay. All right, it's coming from the right side. Make sure we're still breathing. All right. Very happy that my levels are very good. Really got to pay attention to the camera. That's the one thing that I really don't want to mess up on. Oh. Wow. Now it's faster. It could just go up and down whenever it wants. Okay. This is crazy, Betty Bats. I really love the speed of this night. Where is it coming from? The left side. Make sure I'm still breathing. Get out of here. Hey, make sure I'm still breathing. 
Hey, watching this camera, man. I'm watching. I am watching this camera. Really gotta make sure I don't get caught off guard by it. That's the last thing I want to happen. Just have a spring lock failure. Mmm. Come on, go down. Fuck. Bro, I almost messed up there. That threw me off guard. Okay. Really hope that doesn't happen again. Alright, I'm leaving that closed. Okay. I need my oxygen. I'm gonna watch this camera. Okay, good thing. I'm on top of this. Come on. Imagine if the camera went down then went back up straight away. It's crazy, man. Come on. Still gotta breathe here. Okay, watching this camera. Coming from the left. Make sure I'm breathing. Make sure I stay on top of this camera. I got 15 minutes left. Mmm. Okay. Really gotta watch this camera. You know, we got 11 minutes left, but I just don't wanna be slacking and then get caught off guard. Gotta remain breathing. Okay, that's staying closed. Okay, pay attention to this camera. I have no doubt in my mind that it will go off. Oh, shit. Okay. Let me just make sure I stay on top of this camera. It could just go up. Alright, bad bets. We're doing it! That's staying closed. Wait. What? Why is the doors closing? Tragedy strikes. Missing child has been found deceased inside restaurant. It went lost. The child had somehow climbed inside a robotic mascot where it later suffocated to death early in the morning. Police are investigating the night guard that somehow didn't realize that child was in the building slowly dying the entire night. Are you kidding? I literally went through hell to keep this child alive and somehow still died. Bro, somebody did that de deliberately. Wow. That is so messed up, bro. I did everything I could to keep the child alive. Is that her hand or his hand? Bondi's barnyard safety violation. This was a cute game. Otisly Pootis, if I'm saying that right. Mr. Pep with the soundtrack. Everyone that worked on this game did an amazing job and I'm so excited that I got the chance to play it. I can't believe it came out. I was expecting this to be out next year. I really love this game. Really cute. Love the animation style. The color schemes. The challenge of each night. Or I should say each hour. So it's really nice. Okay, I want to take a look at the extras and see what they have here. We got the characters. Bondi himself. The one that's afraid of fire and all light. Grice the pig. Forley the sheep. 
and Chickling and Cow the Cow. <laughs> Molten Bondi. Wait a minute. Okay, that's what he was like before. Pablo the Turtle? We never saw him, right? Pablo the Turtle. Tori the Bull. Grizzly. Mother. Geet. Wait a minute. Okay, that's Bondi's. So there's more to this. Concept art. Mouth POV. Ooh, the first piece of concept art drawn during a nature class by me. Originally as a joke in how I would make a game in this genre. My friend told me to stop and listen to the teacher. I'm glad I didn't. Hey, this is awesome, man. The first idea for a character was a musically talented turtle drawn by me the same lesson. Pablo the Turtle. It's such a cool story to learn about how these ideas come to life. Quickly settled on a cow, all during the same nature lesson. <laughs> I love it. First logo sketch drawn shortly after the initial character models got made. Man, great job on the logo. That just came out nice. Ice cream bar. The layout of the ice cream bar came very easily, which can be seen in its earlier version. Wow. I had an idea early on where the player would need to dive into Cow's chest piece and count sheep to repel Forley. Oh, imagine if we got that. That's, that'd have been difficult to keep up with. Two scoops, one cup. Ice cream bar menu. Custom hour ideas. Okay, so there, I, I figured there would be a custom hour. The original plan was to release the game at the end of 2022 summer, but the date was thankfully postponed for the sake of expanding the roster in custom mode. Thank you for directly being a part of the game yourself by playing it. I hope I'll see you enjoy my future projects. Otis Laputis. What a cool mascot, man. It's so cool. Cutscenes. Yeah, we get... Ooh. We get an extra cutscene. I'm hoping that means if we pass custom mode, the child can be saved. We have the mini games. <laughs> Teasers. Coming sometime. So this was his earliest version. Wow. I, I just love how much work was done on this. I mean, some time. What's different about this one? A little bit lighter. I enjoyed that a lot. Our select. Ooh. All right, bad bats. I'm going to leave the custom hour for another video. I think that'll be fun to tackle. So I'll see you there.